Lydia, can you take helicopter? Thank you. Lydia, can you take duck? <laughs> duck. Lydia, can you take Ella? <laughs> can you take Diddy? Okay, go. So today is Friday and Lydia has been home a whole week today. Well, she got sick a week ago. She started getting chicken box and she got them much worse than Joseph and Esther. She's got a lot more chicken pox and yeah, they're taking longer to get over with too. She's got a lot on her neck and a lot on her face. You got the chicken box? Yeah. You know you're better? Yeah. Today she's pretty much better again, but I kept her home because not all the chicken pox had scabbed over which means that she can still be contagious so at the moment I find it a little bit hard to keep up with videos every week so I still plan to do them but when I can keep up with them so it might not be every week but I have two thoughts to share um, a few times I've talked about the verse come to me where they're labour and heavy laden I will give you rest that's a verse that's come to mean a lot to me to always go and pray and tell God whatever you are feeling or whatever is discouraging you or whatever it is that you're finding hard um, but the challenge to me lately has been to do that when God doesn't feel that close like there are times when God feels so close and when you pray God answers you see God's answers and it's kind of easy to go and pray to God then but there are times that are more testing times when you may pray and you may not, may not feel God's presence or he may not feel close or you don't see any answers to your prayers and so I have been reminding myself in those times to still go and take all those cares or worries or whatever it is to God because he does help us and we can't afford to not have God helping us in the hard things and um, it can be all different things maybe if we're angry about something then it's hard to go and pray. We don't feel like praying about things then, but that's when we really need to go and pray. And if we if we do take all those things to God in prayer, he will help us. So we need to come to God not only when we feel like it, or when it's easy to pray. Um, a good example of that is Mary and Martha. When Lazarus had died, they had prayed, like they had called for Jesus to come and help them. They had come to him in a sense that they had called for him to come and help and he didn't come until a few more days so he came when it was when it appeared to be too late for them and yet when he came both of them came out to meet him so even though they must have been feeling hurt or confused they didn't know why they didn't know why he had come sooner and stopped Lazarus from dying and made him better they still came to him and if we feel upset like that, we can sometimes not want to pray because we don't understand what God is doing and we can more withdraw from him, whereas they didn't. And, you know, God did help them. God had a plan in what was happening and he did a much bigger and better thing than what they had wanted in the first place. Um, but, yeah, that's a good example that when we maybe even feel an upset with God because we don't know what is happening or we don't know why he hasn't answered us yet, um, we still need to go to him and pray. He still cares about us. He cared very much about Mary and Martha. And he, yeah, he was going to do something bigger and better than what they had in mind. And it can be a little bit like um, a little child. A little child doesn't always understand what its mother is doing. And they could very easily get upset because they don't know why they have to wait or why they're not getting what they want. And yet, they still Ma. need to trust their mother. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Because the mother cares very much about them. Hey. And another thought that has encouraged me, um, I heard kind of in three different ways the same verse 
within like a day or so. And it was the verse, you know not what shall be on the morrow, the verse in James. And that's kind of a warning. I've always seen that verse as a warning that we should be careful to always be ready to meet God because we don't know when our last day is. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But um, this time I saw it as a real encouragement, as in like we may worry about the future or we, you know, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But that that verse is an encouragement that we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We don't know what things are going to change for good tomorrow. We don't know what prayers God is going to answer tomorrow. So that verse, even though it is a serious warning, can also be a verse that gives us hope because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And there's the other verse, boast not thyself for tomorrow because thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. And we don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. We don't know what good we don't know what good things are around the corner or what answers to prayer are around the corner or what blessings are around the corner. Don't. So that verse is an encouragement as well as a warning. We're done? Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Are you spotty? Yeah. Yeah. You're still beautiful, eh? Bye bye. bye. Yeah.